Do we have any? Oh, <gasps> I saw Godzilla. Yo, people now, are I know, hyped for this I movie. I know. We've been making some content on it. We had a fucking another video that blew up over a million on just three million views. <laughs> three million. Thank you, everybody who Here's watched me rant about Godzilla. Now it is Brian's turn. Now so. this is going heads up. This is going to be extremely full of spoilers. I have you good with spoilers, Zeke. Okay, you don't. I mind. have some very important things to say about Godzilla, and I'm going to make this quick as fast as I can. Spoiler, yes. spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. But this is huge no spoilers. Do not watch this if you don't want to see spoilers about Godzilla minus Pause one. Pause it for like five minutes. Number yeah. one. Number one. Uh, I thought it was great. I don't <laughs> spoiler. Think, I don't think it was perfect. Okay. Okay. I don't think it was a perfect Godzilla movie, and I will preface by saying I think that I was a little uh, overhyped. Maybe, okay. but you but but high. I've also been. Uh, I kind of got more of what I wanted out of a Godzilla movie with the American versions. Okay. Now I liked the storyline way better than the American versions. I hate the people in the American versions; they're so annoying. But in this one, it was like, okay, this is legit, yeah. right? I liked it. Maybe Watching it Godzilla walk like a mindless robot with his little T Rex arms and stuff yeah. is very much. Classic to the original. Yeah. But like, fuck, I was disappointed. He's slow? Oh. And I mean, the entire movie is basically just him with his arms like this, mm. walking mm. in a straight mm. line. He's very robotic. Very like, on a straight path. Which is funny he because things to do. the other day, the Godzilla uh, X-King, uh, X-Kong trailer, trailer came Holy out. Holy shit, what a where shit show. it's the opposite, and yes. people are mad on Twitter that in the trailer, Godzilla takes off in a full sprint. Yeah, it looks like he's just like, bad. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't happen? No, he's... Okay, okay, l l let me say this. In the American films, was it 2014 and uh, yeah. King of the Monsters? And wasn't there one uh, more? And then there's... Uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Now I'm used to that. He's much more animated when he like you know when when something he doesn't like he beats it. He like huffs at it. Kind of has like he has an Beach. attitude. He's got Ooh. personality like, and Ooh, and you know he's that. like he's actually like punching stuff and bobbing and weaving and he's animated. Yeah. In this Toho one, it's extremely like <clears throat> no that, that fucking uh, original soundcast or the soundtrack. Holy it, it? Fuck Kick. that shit. Whenever was, he first burn, stomps on the city and you dun, hear that note, yeah, and he. Comes Comes oh. out of that fucking ocean, and then he's like, "Oh my god, so good." Yes. Anyways, I, w I it was just jarring to see him be a mindless animal because he was just like, Ooh. "It was just kind of like, oh, you're not he a very smart." But he's a lizard, right? Which I mean, makes me think, like, look, yeah. I, I, you know, this is my small gripe. And this one is a he, right? Or do we know? Is uh, it ambiguous? Kind of ambiguous. Okay. Um, the biggest, like, big, big, big thing I had with this. <clears throat> Go Did ahead. You get scared? No. I didn't get jump scared. I did. At the very beginning when you first see him, like the camera just zooms past. He's like, Wah! like that. I was like, Whoop. oh, fuck. Yeah, Maybe I, I must have blinked and missed it. Good thing you used your dude wipes. I did use my <laughs> dude wipes to wipe my dirty butt. God. So uh, the biggest. Maybe it needs to be longer than five minutes for The them. biggest gripe that I have <laughs> is the fact that if you've seen the movie, there is a scene where the, uh, what do you call the, the romantic. Um, the love interest. Love, love interest. interest. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So the love interest pushes our main character in between these two buildings to save him from a uh, an atomic breath nuclear blast, mm. and immediately after, our mm. main guy comes out of that alleyway and looks, and it's just everything is gone. It's devastation, just like a nuke going off, because that's basically what he does. That's mm -hmm. basically what Godzilla does. But when he's looking up and down the street and the camera shows what was just once a bustling city is now looks like a tornado went through it. It's completely destroyed. All the buildings are leveled. There's no sign of humans, clothes, people, anything. Everyone on. And this was like tons of people, mass hysteria, people running around while he's crushing them. There's not a single trace of a human, which means they were vaporized by this atomic uh, nuclear bomb going off. Right. Mm -hmm. So like. She should have been vaporized. He was gone, never to be seen again. And somehow, we see at the very last scene of the movie, she's got a little bandage head wrap and her arm in a sling. 
Mm-hmm. Wait, but she she pushed him into the alleyway, and, but she blasted. was out. But she was out in the yes, the blast down the maybe, street. Maybe and she, she also kind of like jumped in the alley a little bit. Oh no, no, no! She gets very fucked up. You see her like mm. blow back, and like everybody's what? gone. What? And everybody's she just gone. has like a little boo boo. Yeah, Thank but you. then did you notice? But maybe then. she's a she, leech, she leeches. She leans in. For a hug with our main character protagonist while he's crying and in tears of joy and all this stuff. And right here. Right on her neck. Like right at the jugular. I swear to God, it was like a little black tattoo almost or like a Scaling. like a symbiote. Yeah. And I swear oh. it starts going like it's going through her veins. I saw this with my two um, like a zombie roommates yeah. and my my. Two roommates both noticed it too, and then I asked Tony. He's like, "Oh yeah, I definitely yeah. saw that." Because I was like, mm, so "What the fuck are they like trying to do? Thing. Like, they're gonna make her a lizard, or there's some weird like venom symbiote Maybe thing like a going? Virus like, type what thing is going or... on? And because like, there's no way she could be alive. So, is that like, yeah, is it like a disease? Is she a clone? Is it like what's happening here? Or did she get vaporized but regenerates like Godzilla does in the movie? I think that's it. So maybe she's because like, remember, like my favorite part of the movie is whenever they're. Oh, so she's gonna be another good. Um, mm. Like she could the, be a, the, the a dudes girl. are just on this old rickety fishing boat, right? But like the navy dudes show up to help, and they're like, "Oh, thank God, they're here!" And then Godzilla just pff, nopes those boats. <laughs> yeah. So it's just our like main dudes who we love at this point, and Godzilla, and they have mines because that's their job is they're going out there getting rid of all the mines World War Two. And they get the mine in his mouth, and he shoots it with like the gun, and it blows up in his mouth, and it like the blows side the of top his... chunk of his head off. Yeah, and then he's just oh, like, Godzilla. Yeah. yeah, the bottom jaw is basically there, yeah. and like this up is just gone. Yeah, and then he's just floating there for a minute, but then you start seeing like blah, 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 blah. it regenerates. It's, it's all bubbly, like, oh, oh, and it shit. like grows back. So yeah, maybe oh. that's what happened, or maybe she but why was just her? like, why? Well, maybe it's other people, right? We but know. we only see that one survivor yeah. in the whole movie. Because it's like chaos. Everybody's looking for their dead relatives or whatever. Dang. And then all of a sudden, I was like, what the fuck was that? Did they just try to do that? What the fuck? But the other gripe I have a little bit is like, we saw Godzilla completely annihilate that uh, warship. I mean, like, didn't even fucking try. Just wrecked it. Yeah. But then when they do the whole giant climactic scene of these tugboats wrapping around them with like fucking the, the canisters of gas, ethanol yeah. or whatever... He just stands there. Well, it's because he's flying around with the plane, remember? But I know, and I knew you were going to say that. Like, but he would have been like heavily distracted. At one point, he looks at the boats and just goes, huh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's like they were putting a tree skirt on a tree. And like you see him just wrap it around. And he looks at both boats like, are you, what are you guys doing? And they What's just kind of like, down there? they just slowly cross. And they're like, holy shit. And he just kind of like, mm-hmm. But that pesky plane, it's like, come on. They made He's him a so lizard, stupid. Brian. They come made, on. You got a lizard brain. They made him dumb, yeah. and I don't He's like it. But Mangata. this also goes back to my problem with <laughs> the Predator <laughs> movies. I think they they handicap him. They hog tie him because he has to lose. Humanity has to win. Every time. And I think that's bullshit. So I'm a little biased. Well, okay, isn't, like you were saying, Godzilla, especially in this version, is like, uh, well, not parody, but what is it, like a... Homage, a... Uh, uh, reboot. Uh, reboot. Remake. Uh, it's like a, not a story, but you know what I'm saying, like, uh, it's like a... A French person. You're saying like, you know, for like nuclear war and things like that. Like, oh, what would that be like a... like a metaphor. Yeah, thank you. Like a metaphor for nuclear war. Well, yeah, so that's So, of course, what... then they, they don't want Godzilla to win. And that they're going to show the devastation, and that, but it, like reeks more. It's true, but then they also like made like a hundred thousand Godzilla movies, and then made him a good person. So, hmm. and there is hmm. uh, he's been going to be a sequel to this. He's been a good character, defender of Earth, I've seen it. longer than, and way more times. It's kind of weird that they been a would, that they went that. I know, route. but I know. well, because if you're coming at it like you're saying, like so, the Japanese versus American versions of it. I mean, America is. But also, true, true, and also at the very end of the movie, it's uh, he starts regenerating, even though he's just like a chunk of meat that gets blown the fuck up. Uh, he starts to regenerate, so you're like, okay, so 
maybe some weird symbiote lizard thing with the girl, and also like Godzilla never dies. He's, he's something always keeps him coming back, you know. So w wherever that goes, do you guys think that she's going to turn into like a gigantic Godzilla, or you think it's, she's going to stay oh. like small, or it's going to mm. be some kind of weird? I'm think. What about this? If it's the same cast, what if he? This whole movie's about him killing Godzilla to avenge everyone that he let perish, and it's like because he was a uh, kamikaze. You know, he 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 didn't. He quit. He was a coward, whatever. So everyone hates him for it. But then he's like, to atone for his shit, you think he's going to kill himself. The whole movie's leading up to him driving this bomb into Godzilla's face to kill him and kill himself. But he ends up not dying because, long story short, he survives because it's, it's heartwarming, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking if it's the same cast, they're going to make her a Godzilla that he has to make the choice between his love and also saving the good, like the more, more people. Where's Rachel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so then he's going to be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking Godzilla screaming. Where is she? Anyways, I don't know. That would be pretty crazy. I don't want to talk about Godzilla huh. anymore because we've talked way too much about it. But either way, there's some weird spoilers in there. And also, uh, I didn't think it was perfect, but I really liked it. All right. So Tony thought it was movie of the year. Best Godzilla, best movie 2023. I think what it was would you fucking rate? awesome. What I'm going to go rate? 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? All right. 8 out of 10. I don't think it was perfect, but I think it's great. It is so it fucking is good. It's really good. It's really, really, really good. Boom. Boom. No, On to the next thing. We never have to talk about Godzilla ever again. Oh, no, no. Don't say that. That's my boy. Not or girl. The next one. Uh, not till Godzilla is zero. Yeah, not till Godzilla King Kong comes out. We'll probably talk about. Oh yeah, the little you seen all the memes I of like the baby, like and I'm like, it looks kind of weird. Hated that trailer. It looks. Oh, that's another reason. So you just, you saw the trailer? Or you just said the meme. I just saw the <laughs> everyone is like showing like you know the little baby King Kong like yeah, doing it's that. Gross. I'm like, it looks it's gross. I hate it. I don't like I hate it. it. I hate that. It's, cute. it's like, like Planet cute. of the Apes now. It's mm. gross. Uh, um, uh. Listen. Last week, came yeah. in here with Godzilla Minus One. I said, best movie of the year. Uh-oh. Has it been dethroned already? <laughs> now it's time to talk about the worst movie of the year. Oh. So me in the comments section, I saw one comment at one point say that we do hype up movies all the time. Like, we never talk about bad movies. Someone said that? Yeah. We talk about bad movies every week. Well, guess fucking what? <laughs> a movie that you actually don't like, that has that uh. saying a lot. God. He hated it so much. So uh, I got really excited for a new movie on Shudder. Okay. It was called It's a Wonderful Knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you had high hopes a, about that title? <laughs> yes, because it's a cross between It's a Wonderful Life right. and Scream, starring Justin Long and Joel McHale. Oh, okay. I'm fair. like, Joel fair, McHale? Fair. Yeah. I'm like, He's dude. I, I don't really care about him. I hate him. He's Justin. so annoying. Where do I sign? Uh, got really excited. Settled in last night. I was like, let's settle in. Let's get ready. Christmas. Spooky. Christmas spooky. Awesome. Slasher, Justin Long. Justin Long. Justin Long shows up immediately in this movie with like prosthetic, weird, really white teeth and like a spray tan. And he's like, an, he's like, baby he's like a douchey mayor of this town. I'm like, oh my God, I love this already. Okay. And then it just... Oh no! Oh my God! Tony went from midnight to six that yeah. time. It. Bad. Are we talking about his dick? Like your boner went down? Yeah, my oh. horror boner went That's down. Cool. Horror. My my um, horror boner. Horror. I should probably silence my phone. Get this is the, the first time. Here, this is the first time. I called you Justin. You did. This Justin, Justin Long Justin over here brain. and Theo Vaughn. I'm that Theo Vaughn. You can, right, you can so call me tell Brian Long. Get us through this. So um, why was it was horrible? just like it. It was 87 minutes long, so I was really excited because it's gonna be a short movie. But it was like this should have been at least an extra 20 minutes longer because it just goes from one scene to the next, and just people fall in love like instantly over Dad. like I'm like what what <laughs> like, hold on, hold on. and then there was like just three times at least where like the killer is knocked out. And you could just walk over and you take his mask off. You already know who the off. killer is? No. Oh, no. Okay, mask. To, well, like, mask to, it's, okay. yeah, like, you could go, you could literally kill the killer right now. Kill the killer! But they're like, ah, and they run away, and it's like, wait, you could, like, go and. Tony, I don't know why you have a gripe with this. This is every horror movie. The, what the hell are you right? talking about? And you love the goofy shit. Yeah. yeah. The kills weren't great. Ah, oh, that's a big one. There was one. one that's a big one. It's like, the first, the movie started off. 
Like, it started off great. I'm like, oh, my God, Justin's long, a douchey mayor with a spray tan. And, like, and this, veneers, dude gets, hell like yeah. this dude gets stabbed with, like, a giant candy cane through his head. And it's coming out of his mouth. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. But then it, like. Then there's nothing good after It that. just immediately starts going, like, oh, mm, weird. I don't like this. And mm. Is there any twists and turns? There yeah. is, but it's like you don't care. Like <laughs> You're you just don't, like, get this over with. You don't spend enough time with any of the characters to really give a shit. So when they die, it's like, I don't fucking care. And or you kind of want them to damn. die at that point. Yeah, like, like yeah. Just, I do that with a lot of them. Like, get rid of them. If I don't like them right away, I'm like, let's see them die. <laughs> You're like, let's get yeah. the mouth. I love creative ways to kill people. There's no like climatic anything, really. It just was not great. It just sucked. It just sucked. Damn. So you got a. a I'm and shocked. That it that just was a bad sucked movie. out of 10. Yeah. Damn. I give it a. I couldn't give it zero stars on Letterboxd. I was just going to say, Tony, I saw this. He gave it a zero. half of a star. I did not enjoy watching the movie. I got into it and was like, it was one of those movies where you get so far in, you're like, oh, I've made it this far. I've I gotta finish it. Just yeah. like, just like, uh, if you if you backed out a cabin in the woods thinking this is just a dumb slasher teen, you would be you'd miss the whole point because mm-hmm. at the end that's when shit gets crazy. Mm-hmm. And you were yeah. hoping, you it, were hoping. No, no. I wasn't. It had <gasps> got to the point where I was like, even if things get crazy, this movie, I don't <laughs> it's still care. Be bad. Even get if this gets good, this movie. it's still bad. <laughs> now, the acting in it, yeah. the main uh, girl and her friends in it, I like them. They're good actors. He just likes girls. Uh, you know, I love Justin Long and everything, and Joel McHale is hilarious, and hmm. it was just a bad movie. Damn. It was bad. Sad. I was Sad. really... There's, like, this point in this movie. It was just, like, what is happening? Um, the Like, the killer shows up, kills, like, this the main girl's best friend, kills like, a couple other people. He's just going nuts on Christmas Eve, right? Um, uh, the, the main girl kills the killer. Oh. Kills him immediately before the even title cards pops up. Rips the mask off. Oh my god, it's this person. I don't want to say who yet. Uh, but just, just hold. Because remember, it goes like things like happen. A back so and forth. a year goes by. So it's like well, I, I know what you did last summer too. Kind of, it's okay. got a little bit of that. It even okay. has a little bit of Back to the Future two in it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Pick a movie that you're gonna copy. Stick Jesus. It, it uh, a year goes by, and Christmas morning. This girl gets a pink, like, jogging suit. Like a pink sweatsuit. Like a velour. I don't know. Like, like, like one of the juicy, Adidas. like. And she's like, oh, Ugh, yeah. what is this? And then, like, she comes out. Like, they're like, oh, try it on. Go put it on. She goes and puts it on. Comes out. And like, she's like, where is everybody? Like, she's outside. They gave, these parents gave their daughter a pink sweat jogging suit and gave their son a brand new truck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like. Does that come like, into play? Who would like, do this? Who would do this to anybody? Where, like, she wants revenge or something? Does no. it even play? It's just irrelevant. It, it comes into play because she's like, she's very upset because she was like, what are we doing? Like a year ago, people were murdered. Like my best friend was murdered. And the dad goes like, yeah, but I think it's time we get over that. Don't you think? Like, <laughs> come on. Damn. And we're just yeah. like, what the fuck is this? And this is like That's the fuck. So she's like, gets mad and goes, she's like, I wish I was never born. Right. And then, like, instantly. Oh, and then does it happen when, like. It, it happens also, uh, instantly. Like, the lights in the town. She then goes out and, like, she turns around and starts walking and she's through not the born city. Anymore? And, like, it's. Yeah, nobody knows who she <sighs> yeah, is. Yeah, I, oh, I so already then that's like when the this. killer comes back and ends up killing a bunch of people. And that's which when the killer's back. And cause, because she was not born. So she wasn't there to kill him. So she wasn't there to kill him. So the killer has. <laughs> The killer has literally been killing people like once a week for the past year. And like to the point consistent. that the police showed like, oh, it's the killer. Oh, all right. And the line Sorry, even like the sheriff do. dude even says a line. That I kind of like this part. The sheriff dude said like, uh, put some caution tape over there because people should probably be cautious. Like, it's like oh my God, this sounds like a was, stinker. I, I feel like this was written by AI. Like it was an experiment. God, like maybe. I'm not even kidding. Like it probably was written by yeah, it like was, and they're uh, like, that's why it took all the different what movies the fuck. together. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, if you look, it got 72 percent audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. How dumb? How? People on Twitter seem to enjoy it. If you listen, if y'all enjoy it, it's wonderful. Night, cool. 